reason why I'm doing this now is because I realize if I want to make a computer game, it, uh, you need a big budget, you need programmers, you need this and that. So, but I can make I can make a, an online TV program. It doesn't have to cost much, and you can try to get the same values in there. How to help people? How to how how do you? teach people how to think, how do you help someone and also show them how fun it is to just go out and play with people who need help and, and try to solve things that is more fun actually than playing a video game to actually go out and help someone change their life. So that's what I want to do with this and then I will mix that with adventure and things like that so that people won't get bored and even like the adventurous people will still want to watch it. But so, so how about you, like how long has, have you now been in Ladysmith like Mombasa? Is it like your whole life? Uh, because I was born in, in this uh, music family, I can say, since I was born. Yeah, yeah. really? You know, how old are you? Can I ask? Fifties. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. So, so how, how does that feel to have, like, are you, are you happy with, like, how, uh, how that music career and what you have done? Do you have other dreams that has been suffering? No, it's the, as years as years go by, it's now it's a, it is re recognized as a business, but on the early stage, this kind of music has never been recognized as a, as a as a as a business or as a as a source of income. That's uh -huh. only for in, entertaining. To say somebody to somebody, or especially at school when they ask you where the dad works, you say musician is because he will say everybody is a musician. Uh, we want his profession. Oh, okay. That's what they say to you. Yeah. yeah. They will ask you. How are you gonna survive in school? That's what I. That's what they said to dad because when uh, he was explaining you, what you his dad was doing. You have to yeah. pay. You have to pay. For, for the school fees. So they, so they didn't know Lady Smith, Smith like Mombasa, your teachers? No. Or they your children's teachers? No. Uh, as they call it, it's a cultural thing. Everybody who's got their mouth can sing. If you say, <laughs> yeah. say somebody's singing, it yeah. doesn't mean anything. You know, a lot of the things, work, things I've done for work, in my life has been about skateboarding and my parents they are kind of traditional you know like my sister she's a teacher my my father is a doctor and my mother she works with handicapped children and they have has also been like that yes but we understand you like this but how are you gonna pay for your life you know so yeah. it's something which is, and and that that is actually what i was talking about with like we are taught to believe that this is a work, this is not a work, you know? So, yeah. that, so children, when they think of work, they think of police, firemen, teacher. Yeah. Because they never learned that you can work with music. Or they kind of do, that's, that's one thing that they see. But they never learned that you can actually work with helping people. That you can start an NGO and, and work with helping people. It's not like the first thing they think of, and it should be. Like, imagine if all the children. NGOs children has just come as this country become a so called the free country. Yeah. Before that, there, there, was, there was nothing called NGO. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah, I can say. There was no NGOs in the country. comes with, with, with the freedom of the country. Yeah. But yeah, even but, like, but uh, you if think you, if you even on the engineering side, if yeah. you say uh, I, I'm going for engineering, then they they say what about doctorate? What about teaching? Uh, what are you gonna do? Engineering? There so there are some uh, qualification which which seems like ne never exist. Yeah. Just like pilot. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So, so, can I ask you, like, what do you do? You yourself have like dreams of, of helping people in positive ways, that, like change people's lives, change the world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I, I've try, I've tried my best to, to help as many people as possible. Uh, but uh, as the Chinese say, 
to help somebody, don't give him a fish, give him a, a hook, only tool how to, to catch it, the, the, the fish. I like that. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So, so how do you do that? How do you give people the tools? Uh, um, I'm giving them the, the resources, how to, to have this, the very same resources I have, so that they can be able to manage what they have and, and, and to, to show what is their dream. I'm not, I, 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 I'm not spoon feeding them anymore. I'm yeah. trying to give them something so that they can. Just like when we when the, there's this parable saying God gave somebody a, a, a talent, then the, 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 the same one talent was multiplied, the two talent was multiplied, the five talent was multiplied. Mm -hmm. But you you give them something so that they can go for it. Yeah. But uh, mostly, uh, uh, I can say more than 60%, when you give them, and uh, somebody saying, I want uh, money, he's killing himself mm. most of the time, and the family become segregated, and they look at the, they, they, they respond to you, they say, if you didn't give my, my, my brother or my dad the ex among their friends, my dad will be alive, because they are killing himself. So, so how, if you, if you think about like how you would try to reach out and, and give people the, the tools to change their life and the motivation to change their life, do you have your own ideas like, this is how I could do that through my music or this is how I could do it like? On the musical side, as as somebody who's who's more interest interested in merchandise, uh, I meet a lot of people and and tell them how to go on the right channel to buy the music they they like from the record companies and to sell to the community because the community they want the music. Mm. They can, in nowadays, the community can differentiate between the fake music and the real music because even myself, I know now, if you, if you buy the, the ten rand from the streets, mm. next month it won't, it won't be playing anymore. Mm -hmm. And, you, and if you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't find the, the very same guy who, who, who gave you that, that cheap CD or DVD. You, you don't you know where to be found. Yeah. But if you go to the to the manufacturer, you can complain. They can say sorry, mm -hmm. was our mistake. They they can replace it. Mm -hmm. But you keep on. Do you find your music copied a lot and sold on the street also, or is it more? It's more original. Yeah. Not not on the street. Yeah. Even on the record store, record bars. Yeah, it's not. Not more, most, not, not all of the, all, our music is available. Mm. Yeah. We avail ourselves so that they can, we can buy something from our record company from this recruiting to them. Because the record company is, has, has chased all the reps who were doing the very, the very same job of distributing. Mm. Now you and an artist have to distribute your own job. Mm. Baba, are you comfortable to discuss that uh, that 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 trust that you that you one one day believe that could help other people uh, become motivated, become like in terms of business and entrepreneurship skills? Because I know, like where one once um, David spoke about that. Kumbula immediately the day uh, we were abroad and we were talking about that dream that you have about establishing a certain foundation which can go around to different schools and we were talking about how they could possibly maybe you know 
help empower people the same way you are talking about uh you know when U Baba has some resources that he has that other people don't have available to them and he makes that available to them and in 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 sense he's not giving them money he's giving them the brains to 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 work whatever dream they might have and then from there they need to take it on and and and, and that's 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 how U Baba is he's not the person that will look at you and say oh you need 50 rand here take 50 rand no he'd rather tell you how he got this 50 rand give you the resources to get that 50 rand for yourself and, and let you go out there and do it I think that's really the intelligent way to do it because if you if you give people the tools there's no limit how many people you can give the tools you can tell it to the next one and the next one and you can tell you can you can help a, a thousand people or, or more but if you give them 50 rand, you can't give 50 rand to a thousand people and then, yeah. So I, I, I do the same most of the time. There are times, if I take the time from, from someone, maybe I will pay him something or maybe I will pay to help. But most of the time I'll also try to encourage them to see how can they make the money themselves so that they can do it over and over again. So, so, so that trust, it sounds interesting. How, do you want to, to tell about it? Or is it something you're saving for later? I can't remember. Maybe you can. Yes, he has reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an old dream that. That's yeah, that, that, dad. Dad has dad has a lot of these dreams that are like this, and some of them he does he does it even though he may not realize that it's already the trust is already happening. It's already there. Um, like he was saying about the, the merchandising. There's a there's a there's a, uh, a group of guys that he's helping with with merchandising who who he's empowering through the merchandising work that he's doing, and he empowers them by giving them the opportunity to make merchandise for the group Mambazo, um, and they use that merchandise to 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 push it to the people to the public that who always require the music and the merchandise. So. That's that's basically what he does, and using the people that he knows and the resources that and and the clients that he has, you know, he'll know that okay for for a clientele in Ladysmith, you know, there's a there's there's a bunch of young guys in Ladysmith who are making these type of T-shirts, and he'll know that that clientele will be looked after if Ubaba gives it to these kids and says, hey, there's a uh, eight people who need extra large T-shirts in this place sort them out and he knows it's going to get sorted out because he's taught them well and he, he he's he's been able to empower them to get to the position where by now they can make this a part of their life you know it's the it's how they make a living so that's the type are they, of are they using that responsibility to do something good like or or because i'm well we're, we're in africa now so i'm thinking are they using you and using the right to make the merchandise or, or are they actually doing something good with it and, and helping other people, you know, around it? Firstly, it's... Uh, it's, it's to look what you have. That's like the uh, story when they say, well, when God asks Moses, what do you have in your hands? It's to appear to Moses was able to, to see that this God is God and to appreciate the very same stick. Yeah. Actually, it's a matter of letting people see how important their gift they are. And the very same gift is empowering other people. Then they can they easily preserve what they have. Because yeah. most of the time, you would you have, you have this roof under, under your head, but you don't have it. You do, you do, you don't seem like you have yeah. it. Yeah. And unless somebody can say, oh, this, be, this house is beautiful, then you try to do that. It's true, I should it's be true. happy. They slap oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, they are, they are, they are improving because they, they see the demand of what they have. Yeah. Of the gift, they they can very thank God that they they are having the gift which is needed <gasps> by the world, which can empower its own its owner and and the community of benefiting from the same gift. Yeah. 
So how many people is this that are living from selling your merchandise and things like this? Now? Many from different uh, provinces. And the idea has been to actually, you know, put this now into pen and paper and make it something that is official, like an organization that Ubaba does. And, you know, because, I mean, he does, he's doing it free of hand, you know, just doing it as, as he goes. But, you know, he'd, he'd love to have it be an official thing that says, okay, this is Wherever what it's about. World, yeah, make, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Like but shirts. these are the rules and the regulations. And yeah. this is, if, if you are doing it like this, it has to empower this many people, you know, right. if it can be arranged in that certain specific way. Are you way, asking sure. any, any money or provision from that? Or you, like, as it, as it is now, or now they can just u use it and, and help the community and help themselves and they don't have to pay anything to the band. They, they do. Because uh, uh, royalty wise, we, we, the Benson mentioned that we are, we are buying from, from the uh, Ah, okay. Or it is coming back to the band. Okay, so you can still track how much yeah. it is. And yeah. And get some of the well, that's a, it's, a, it's an interesting idea to, to do what Babuila said to, to get it get it worldwide and, and make a trust like that. So what's what what is uh, what are the steps? Uh, is there a long way to go before that can be done? Or you need you need administration? Yeah, uh, administration is not enough. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. for legal wise to for to register the same thing because it's yeah. done, it's done right now, it's done, it's it's halfway registered. Uh, but yeah, we are getting the register we have to get some permission from the members because they're using the secret number. So how how do you feel when you when you go when you go and travel the world and things like this? You, what what goes on in your mind when you see how how they live, live at, at in other pieces parts of the world and on the parties where you are or at the Grammys or wherever you are? Um, what what goes on in your mind when you travel? Mm, uh, thanks God. us and me the opportunity to see the world because I've never dreamed of having a life which is always on, on a suitcase but now that you can accept my life is only on, on a suitcase <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for it my family understand when I, when I have to leave I have to leave when I have to come I, I am coming but there's no place like they are supportive of you or? Hey, yeah. okay, Baba. Now, now that you just said that, you just reminded me something. Um, what time will you be leaving uh, from here at home to go to the airport tomorrow? Because I'd like to ask for your lift. <laughs> oh. I'll leave it. It will be eleven because I have to go and do shopping. In the morning. The last shopping for my family. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, most of the things I, I, I buy the. I've, I've done the, the macro shop, uh, but I have to do something at the China, China Mall. China mm. City, something. Like yeah, it's China Mall. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna try and catch a lift with you tomorrow, but that's if I make it on time because Nami, I've got a problem with but, time. But I like to, I like, I, I like to be it's home because uh, <laughs> to be here yeah. under this roof because that's where I'm, I'm relaxed. Yeah. Uh, oh so so uh, early in the morning, uh, I like to, to do handwork at home. Handwork like what? Just like today, I was doing my own garden. Gardening, knowing that I'm also exercising with the natural, with the nature. I'm, I'm natural, natural friendly. Uh -huh.
how do you, when you do the garden, do you do something that you can eat there, like vegetables or fruits, or do you just do flowers because it looks nice? Uh, usually, I, I, I use it to, to, to plow the carrots and me. I like to, to tear something that, that, that can be put on, on the pot at the end of the day. So mili mili means you grow maize. You grow maize, yeah. yeah. And what exercise do you do when you exercise? <laughs> Taking away from here to my gate is it's an exercise. <laughs> yeah. Well, for you, and you, and you are dancing, like, that shouldn't be an exercise for you. Yeah, but the thing is, he does it for like a hundred times, you know. <laughs> He'll do laps, you know. Yeah, and it's a hill. Yeah, and it's a hill. Yeah, and you, yeah. Don't you dance once? No. I do it while I do it. I get out of that gate and I can go to Pine Town and come back. So I was just thinking, this idea now that you have with the merchandise that to maybe make it something that a lot of people can live on and, and internationally, have you ever talked about this idea? Because I'm sure you meet a lot of other artists when you're out performing. Have you ever talked about that idea with other artists and got any reflections from them on that idea? Actually, yeah, as they are seeing me doing it, it's, it's mostly it's them who are approaching me to say, can we do this? The very same thing you are doing to our band. But to me, uh, I always speak, speak the truth. Uh, I'm, I'm unable to distribute as many material for this music on my fans. So I don't want to lie to, to, to accept anything which I'm not to, to take responsibility. So, what kind of artist that has asked you to do that? The reggae and... What is it called? Reggae. Yeah, reggae, reggae and the Afro... You call it Mpapanga. Some call it Afro-pop now. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and why did they why did they want you to do it? Because they also want to help people or because they also... They actually, we, we, up? actually uh, usually, uh, uh, I'm working with them. Even when I'm trying to, to put, sometimes as a charity thing, I can book uh, the very same black members to perform at my function. And the moment that I book them, most of the artists they want to to perform from a form from a bar before to, to uh, cut, yeah. curtain raising. Curtain raising. Uh, yeah. Performing before there's no black members. Yeah, it'd be the four band. Yeah. 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 So you support them that way? Yeah. Your friends. And then what they can see is, uh, they can see the success of, and how successful it is for Mambazo. So when they, when they approach Ubaba, they approach him in the sense that maybe, hey, can you help us with our business and our merchandising because we can see how yours is flourishing. And what he's saying is that it, it's very hard to take such a responsibility and say, okay, bring it all onto my hands when he knows the responsibility that he has to have.